waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> so we're kind of just uh, kicking back and waiting. Let's see what we can do here. See if we can get a beta test going. <laughs> Just to see if I make sure I got all this stuff hooked up correctly. So, let's try it out, shall we? There we go. Well, it seems like it's hooked up somewhat correctly this what you're looking at right now is actually just a paper towel <laughs> you see the structure involved with it yeah tonight's just testing the equipment just to make sure it uh just to make sure everything works so we picked a few oddball items up um we're going to be doing a lot more and you can leave you can leave a bunch of stuff in the comments that you want to see We'll try to get to them eventually. This will be a pretty normal thing. Uh, once again, we do got Jupiter and Saturn coming up very soon. And possibly an early morning stream tomorrow. So, All right. So here we have a good old paper towel. And that is what it looks like under 220 magnification. As I said, this one's going to be a short one tonight. We're just testing it out to make sure everything is good. Hello, Mark, and hello, ERRT, and Victor, and anybody else I missed? <laughs> Let's see. Let me go back up. Genghis, and Jay, and Shalom. All you guys, welcome. This is our new adventure. So, yeah, that's what a normal paper towel looks like under a microscope. And once again, we will be adding compound microscope to it, um, bottom lit, so we can start looking at cellular structures in the future. This is just to get us started, pretty much. And me and Mark were online searching around, trying to find the best one to get this thing started with, and, and we settled on one. Uh, the one that I'm using right now is from Celestron, so it comes in handy that it's a product that we like by a company that we like. So can't beat that. But yes, there you go. That is a paper towel up close. What should I grab next? Let's see. We got the lettuce here. We got the little piece of onion. And we got a cheese ball. <laughs> so it's up to you guys. Which, guy, which one do you guys want next? It seems to be doing okay. Let's pull this up off of here. As you'll notice, it'll get blurry. So I can get that. It's amazing what stuff looks like, like up close. <laughs> Toilet paper. Two ply. You want the cheese ball. It's not cheese, people. It's actually one of those little cheese puffs. But we will give it a shot if you know what I mean let me get my yeah you're not seeing nothing yet because I'm switching the object right now so there we go just like that now let's see if we can get her in focus and that my friends is your cheese puff <laughs> and the focusing is so sensitive on it that you can actually do depth layers if you want to because this as you can tell the top crystalline is the is the top depth but if we just refocus a little bit we can get inside of it to focus a little bit better no sorry we don't have any anthrax the cheese balls are ugly Oh yeah, we're going to go out adventuring and find stuff that we can put in here. I'm just going to move this around just a little bit. 
see if we can get the edge. Boom, boom, boom. Very weird. <laughs> it still looks delicious. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> As a matter of fact, but there you have it. 3D. You got the inside in focus, and then you have the outside in focus. Well, once again, this is just a scope we decided to do uh, to start with, and then we're going to get one that we can check out cells and stuff with um, at a later date. But this is going to open up all kinds of new stuff. <laughs> Because some stuff looked absolutely crazy. And I'll tell you this. I don't have it with me right now. But I t the first thing I tested was a piece of bread. And I actually had the the microscope actually s sitting on it. Because it has like a, a one inch give. You know between the sensor and whatever it is you're viewing. And I had that sitting on the bread. And as I would raise and lower the the microscope. It would look like the bread was breathing. It was really really freaky. Alright. So there's your cheese ball. Now, you want the lettuce or the onion? <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Can you imagine what the ingredients is on a cheese ball? It's like dehydrated water buffalo or something. <laughs> so it's up to the lettuce or the cheese ball. Which one do you want next? Let's see. Let's get old Mr. Cheese Puff out of here. Uh, the onion. All right. Shoot, where I put it? There it is. All right. And Mark, if that's you calling me, I only have Skype open on my phone right now, so. Just so you know. All right. Onion is under. Let's go down a little low. Gross. Let's give her a little focus. Well, I didn't think an onion would be that hard because it was white. But it is. And there we are. Where you at? Come on. There we are. Weird. Looks like a whole bunch of little little jellies, doesn't it? Gross. <laughs> what is that? Agree, my onion has a has a bacteria infection. Yeah, I kind of figured that, Mark. I'm doing. I'm kind of just learning as we go too. We'll get it. I'm trying to figure out what this uh, what this little herpy is on my onion. <laughs> Who put a harpy on my onion? Weird. <laughs> uh, what's up to Venus and what's up to Jello and Old Timer and John, Glenn and Ted? Yeah, I'm kind of just learning as we go along too. But yeah, once you see, uh, I'll get it because. I kind of wish they gave you a darker plate, like an underplate, but I understand why they gave you a light one. But for like light objects, a darker plate would work so much better. Because then you'd be able to get, but it's like a light gray plate underneath. And there's different, well, let's raise it up and down here. Oh, that's focus, all right. It's just weird. Raylene, that is an onion. <laughs> There's a herpy on my onion. 
I'm really not sure what that is, but uh, there you go. Bring it a little more center. Yeah, and I'm not sure why that's showing up at green because on the main camera, actually, let me set the uh, let me set the colors here because that's actually coming up the wrong color from the main camera. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because it was still set to the moon. Let's go here. There we go. That's that's the actual color from the camera. Ugh. Weird, eh? And smelly? Jesus. <laughs> What's about that? You're getting into liquids, Jello, and liquids. We're gonna need a we're gonna need a backlit microscope, which we plan on getting. Don't get me wrong, but this is just a top lit one that we decided to go with at first. So once we get the backlit one, it's a little bit more powerful. We'll be getting into seeing cells moving and stuff like that. Kind of crazy. But there you go. There's Mr. Onion, and then the other thing we got here is uh. Also, want to look at some print. I heard print's pretty cool to look at on a paper, like from a typewriter and stuff, because it actually looks really messy. All right, so there goes Mr. Onion. And then next, we have a nice dried out piece of lettuce. So let's see what we got with this guy. <laughs> Microscopes are actually kind of scary. Because I had looked at a leaf earlier, and there was like a dust mite growing across it. Freaky. It's enough to freak you out. And here is Mr. Lettuce. That is completely gross. And now I'm never eating a salad again. <laughs> oh my. Blech. <laughs> That is, doesn't it look like somebody was just bleeding all over lettuce? Who got murdered on my lettuce? <laughs> oh my. That is just sick. And just imagine, you eat that at the Chinese place. <laughs> That, I mean, by the looks of it, if you would just see the piece of lettuce, it actually looks like a pretty good piece of lettuce until you get it under the microscope and now look at it. Oh my. Jeez Louise. Try to find something with the... There we go. Isn't that gross? I got these two little clamps here that I used to move the stuff around. Yeah, it's a regular piece of iceberg lettuce. Let's see if I can bring that top focus in a little bit. Blech. Doesn't it? No, it was just literally, it was grabbed out of a bag of pre-shredded lettuce. I cannot wait to get McDonald's chicken nuggets underneath this microscope. I think I'm going to have Bill on for that for that stream. Because as much as we talked about it on his channel, about what them things are made out of. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. Jello, I don't think it's that powerful. I mean, this one, this one goes up to 220 times. So this one's not, like, powerful enough where you really get disgusted by, like, basic things. Like, you know, oven smears and stuff like that. But it's powerful enough to really make you think twice about the food you eat, which is, ugh. <laughs> oh my, that is just simply gross. But you guys got to remember to, uh, in the comments to this video, leave what you guys actually want to see. And remember that we are only on 220 power. We will be going a little more high powered. Holy moly. What is that in the background? 
look. See how it looks like it's breathing when the Luke. Luke, I am your brother's sister's friend's former roommate. And I'm never eating a salad again. <laughs> Oh, it's so weird. So weird. It does kind of look like hair, doesn't it? Who put their pubes in my lettuce? What is that? And I wish this camera captured like... Let's see here. I gotta figure out how this thing maneuvers because the... It's backwards. There you go. There we go. Look at that. It does look like a hair, doesn't it? Uh, that's weird. I wonder what a... Old timer wants to see some dog poo. <laughs> oh my. Weird. That does look like a hair in an onion. Ugh. Mm. All right, I'm about done with this one. This one's pretty sick. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Let's take a look at some print on paper. Let's see how good the printer was. This is just a normal, I think it's like an advertisement for like Office Depot or something. So let's uh let's check it out. We're going to go Pretty far down. Let me just tweak it just a tad. Well, you can actually see the colors coming out of the black ink. That's weird. Wow. This is, is this laser printing, I guess? You would figure it would be. Look at all the different colors in the paper. Wow. That is weird. Ass. Sorry about the curse words. Nothing I can do about it. You want to try to rip the paper? All right, we can do that. I just can't believe all the color in this paper. A lot of yellows. There you go. Office. <laughs> Office Depot. All right, let's rip a corner and see if we can't check this out. All right, let's get this guy in there. Ooh, that's weird. So we'll go half and half. How about it? All right, now. There we are. And there are your little fibers of a torn edge of a piece of paper. Wow. Good suggestion. It's kind of crazy how they get, you know, how they actually make paper these days. Mm. Well, what else we got laying around here? Do 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 do. So there you go, people. That's what we're going to be doing. We just had a little fun and I just wanted to make sure everything worked. Um, what we're going to try to do. Ooh, anybody want to see a pretzel? I think we got a pretzel here. Let's look at a pretzel real quick. 
but leave suggestions for uh, for what to put under the microscope in the comments because that's pretty much going to determine what we do what we can get a hold of all right so let's zoom her down in here and there is well, that looks kind of gross As you can see, there's a piece of salt. And these are just normal uh, normal pretzel you get like in a bag. Let's see if I can adjust that. Uh... There we go. And this thing just does not want to cooperate with me, does it? There we go. All right, I'll come back this way. Check out that piece of salt. It's weird. <laughs> like almost perfectly square. There is no right angles in nature. Uh, yes, there is. <laughs> That piece of salt is just freaking me out. Weird. Hmm. Things look just so different. <laughs> Margarine and butter. I think that's going to have to stay for the backlit microscope. Mark, you said you had a backlit microscope, don't you? I believe you, or did you say you had a direct one like this one? But yeah, that looks really crazy. A perfectly square piece of, of salt. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> that is weird. I don't even know if Mark's still here. I think Mark said he had a backlit one. That's the one we're going to need to actually see cells and stuff like that. Um, and we'll eventually get it. You know? But uh, this is, as I said, this is just a start. Um, when we start doing these more regular, we're looking at doing maybe 10 things uh, per stream. So, um, once again, uh, don't leave your suggestions in the chat leave them actually on the comments to this video once it's over because that's what we're going to be pulling from and if i have to order some stuff or i have to go out and get some stuff i can make sure i do that um and then make sure to credit you know whoever suggested it uh if you see something that you like that somebody already put just thumbs up their comment you know so if somebody has the same idea you do uh let's see you said he had one but the surface microscope is really good nice manufacturing power is three okay Okay, so it doesn't have one. So yeah, we're gonna have to get a backlit one. But that's what's gonna go on. So once again, make sure your suggestions are down in the comments. Uh, if somebody writes something that you already like or had an idea to do, just thumbs up their comment and back it up with a you know a reply to their comment, and then we'll we'll go from there. And hopefully we can do these to the point where we might be doing them every night. Um, for now, I think we'll probably try to do them like every other night or so. We'll find out what's going on. And then possibly we might do an early moon stream uh, tomorrow morning, maybe around 4 a.m. or so. So with that said, I'm going to end this for now. And um, leave your ideas down in the comments. And I'll take a peek from there, and then we'll come uh, Friday night. No, let's see. What's today? Thursday. So come Saturday. Maybe even tomorrow night. If I have some of the stuff here, we might do it tomorrow night. But if not, it'll be Saturday night. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, everybody, take it easy. Uh, looks like the everything's going to hold up. And we'll see you either tomorrow or Saturday. Take care, guys.